God the Father is a personal God, all right? He is fully acquainted with you. In Christ, through faith in Christ, you are one of his children, and he is fully acquainted with you. Do you understand that? You don't have any secrets from him. He knows you better than you know yourself. And, and it's a personal relationship. What's your name? Marcio. Marcio. Nice to meet you, Marcio. Um, I'm Dr. McDonald, and you need to call me that. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, is that an invitation? Is that how you invite somebody to relationship? Is that how you do that? What's your name? Jim. Jim. Hey, Jim. Um, uh, Reverend James McDonald, use all three terms when you refer to me, please. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jim. Did that seem warm to you? It was all right. Well, come on up here. Come on up here. I'm going to do a better job. Come here for a sec. Come here. What's, what's your name? Jim. Jim. Hi, I'm James. So we've got the same name, man. Super happy to meet you. I mean it. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, just call me James, okay? Right. Call all right. me James. All right, perfect. That's quite different, isn't it? Thank you. And you, you need to get this. That's how God makes himself known to you. The Father says, every time you see L-O-R-D, I've preached on this, every time you see L-O-R-D capitalized in your Bible, that's his name, yo. Yahweh, Yahweh is my name. Hi, I'm Yahweh. It's my name. He is a personal God. He wants to know you. Listen, he's not absent. He's not off the job. He's not somewhere else. His eyes are upon you. And he is fully acquainted with every detail of your life. And I proclaim to you a father who wants to heal the wound of all that has been absent in your life and fill up what is lacking so that the future can be so much more than the past has ever been. But this has to be the changing reality. A, a personal God, and, and as declared to you already, notice a present God. He says... The Lord, your God, is in your midst. And I want to say to you today that Jesus Christ is here right now. And I am just witnessing to him. He is the angel that announced the birth of Samson. And he is the son who came and died and rose from the dead for your and my forgiveness. And he is alive and, and we serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. And he's at church. Every gospel preaching, Bible-believing church around the world, regardless of race, regardless of music, regardless of style, Jesus Christ is the one who is walking among the lampstands. He is in his church today. And, and this matter that we have uncovered, the impact, the wound of a father who never taught you to say no to yourself, He's here today in strength and presence for healing. And the last phrase, a personal God, a present God, and a powerful God. Notice, the Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save who will save you. What, what have you brought to church with you today? In Niles and in Rolling Meadows and on all of our campuses where I can't see you but God can see you. What have you brought to church today? And what has happened in your life that has caused you to be acutely aware of your need for the Father of the universe, the Father of lights, who is personally interested in you and present and hear me and able to save where you're hurting he will heal and where you're weak he will be your strength and where you're lonely he will be present with you like a friend closer than a brother and so I have to direct your attention to that last phrase. I'm going to talk about it every single week. Notice there. He will exult over you with singing, with loud singing. I just want you to think for a moment about what the Bible is telling you there about your Father in heaven. 
We know that the angels are in heaven singing, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. But did you know that God the Father is singing? He's singing right now. Some of you say, James, I'm not sure if you understand that this is a promise for the millennial kingdom. I'm not sure if you understand, as we learned in Psalm 90 last summer, that God takes in the totality of his duration in every moment, that he exists outside of time, that he is from everlasting to everlasting. And in that sense, the song has already begun. This is his final verdict over you. Wherever you've been, whatever you've done, whatever has happened or will happen, your father is rejoicing in Christ. Your father is rejoicing over you with singing. You are never far from his thoughts. You are not outside of his care. And he would touch that wound in you from human frailty and human failure. He would touch that wound in you and he would heal it. And thank God for friends and thank God for family and thank God for counselors. But God could touch that thing and he could heal it. That hurt that hinders everything. That something that is with you every single day. And God would heal it. And God will heal it. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will.